The Estonian Philharmonic Chamber Choir is a unique choir, mostly because of its sound, I'd say. My name is Lodewijk van der Rey. I'm a choir master of uh, Estonian Philharmonic Chamber Choir. Uh, my name is Henry Thiesman. I'm a choir singer, uh, bass section uh, of, of Estonian Philharmonic Chamber Choir. My name is Karin Sarume and I'm a singer in Estonian Philharmonic Chamber Choir. My name is Ein Nikka. I'm also a singer and uh, I'm a soprano and uh, she's alto. Well, the unique sound probably derives from, from a very unique global position that we have. It's, it's in the border of, of Europe, let's say. Estonia is situated between uh, east and west uh, areas and our singing culture is um, growing up from um, German uh, way and somehow this Russian and Orthodox music also made our singing culture. That is why we are unique because uh, lots of uh, conductors have said uh, that our sound is so different from like European choirs because uh, usually European choirs and also British are very pure mm. and we are more like, uh, like we sound a little bit like Russian mm -hmm. but we also have this uh, pure quality. The sound has something in it which is always more emotional to me than what I'm used to from, from choirs in the west of Europe. We have the, the full-bodied warm sound that you associate with Russian choirs and the agility and lightness of the Scandinavian choral sound. And it's, it's a nice blend and I think it represents the best of the both sides. I think part of our, our choral sound comes actually from our composers. Singing Arvo Pärts music, singing Velio Tormis' music, it, it uh, demands very specific sing things from singers. And if you do that as a choir for 40 years in a row, then you get actually very good at those specific things. Which means, for Pärts music, long, fragile lines, perfectly in tune, and Tormis' music is the opposite. Very uh, energetic and moving and grounded. Vivid, so, vivid, you might even say. Yes. So these two things combined make, make for a flexible choral singer and you'll, you'll hear that in our sound. We can sing uh, old music like uh, madrigals or Bach and we can also sing uh, very contemporary music. They have a long tradition and a close relationship with some of the best choral composers in the world and are very much known for that. People are singing Estonian music all over the world, of course, and they do it very well, but you always hear that they are not an Estonian choir. And this is partly the language and partly the, the kind of growing up with the music. If you sing, you've sung in a boys' choir, no? You've yeah. sung all this music since you were very young. I've been singing in choirs for 35 years now, and I'm 38. <laughs> so most of my life is, uh, has been the, uh, choir repetition or rehearsal, and the endless touring, it's just, it becomes of you, a part of you. Yeah, it's more than understanding the music, it's actually living it. You're, you're living and breathing this music every day, and the, the way of singing that comes with it. And the freedom that comes with it. Mm -hmm. Choir music and to sing in a choir and to be able to express yourself, that's, that's also a part of it, a pillar of it. Our children begin very early, mm -hmm. uh, already in kindergarten and of course in schools. We have basically children choirs in every school. Mm -hmm. So I think that every Estonian person uh, is singing somehow. Somehow we're singing, yes. Yeah. Even if uh, mm -hmm. anyone doesn't keep a tune, or it doesn't matter. It's a great excitement to be part of, of this global reaching project. This recording was uh, certainly unusual for us. Absolutely. 
we are not used to it, like produce uh, just some sounds, because we are more used to the concerts. We've, we've been singing single notes and single intervals for hours and hours. And I was, I, I was thinking of something that Arvo Pärt famously said, that it, it's enough if you sing one note, but you sing it beautifully. That's all you need. And I, I heard the choir sing a single note beautifully, and then another a single note beautifully. And I thought, this is actually, years and years of singing Pärt's music has prepared us for this, singing single notes very beautifully. I personally hope that uh, when uh, composers, when they hear this, uh, our singing, wish to uh, do some work with us. I hope that uh, our sound is a pleasure for all listeners and they uh, will not uh, think, oh, who was singing is that? <laughs> oh, what is a group of this? <laughs> oh, oh, they are singing good. I hope that we, it, it's pleasant for listeners. <laughs> I hope that they will touch their keyboard and forget that they have a keyboard in their hands, that they think there's a choir singing somewhere. That, that could be awesome. That it's, yeah. that it's actually us that they hear, that it's a human thing, not something coming from a synthesizer. But what they'll do with it, they're, they're free to decide for themselves. We, we are a flexible choir. I think we've become even more flexible in the hands of composers now.